Hey, what's up guys? 915Mang here doing a video today. I'm going to show you the 180 tank. I want to show you an update of the algae turf scrubber. Mm -hmm. And that thing is pitting in work. Here's a little update of my German Shepherd. It's doing good, getting big, and uh, yeah. a good dog. Also, yeah. hope you guys are getting ready for some turkey. Uh, I'll be smoking a turkey. The wife will be doing a regular uh, traditional turkey. And I did a uh, tester turkey not too long ago, and that thing came out pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. I think I'll go ahead and do a little video as I do it this week. So if you see it, you want to see what it looks like, how I smoke it, and things like that, I'll be pitting that up this week, and I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead and take a look at the algae turf scrubber. I did pull out a lot of algae. Um, it's doing its job. It's growing, and it actually grows pretty fast. Uh, it's silent, and the only thing you can hear is the air pump. Actually, as soon as you hit that light back on, it's quiet again. Uh, so that's an update on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tank. This is as the lights came up today, uh, which is why the video is out a little bit later. But uh, you can see everything is still go doing good. I am uh, using calc washer again in my auto top off and dosing two part. About a month ago, I had trimmed up a lot of um, corals in this tank, a lot of soft corals, the polyps, what I call those daisy polyps. And uh, guess what? They are back again, taking over. I did have uh, plants to go ahead and go in there last night and start fragging, but you know what? I'm just going to hit it up this week and clear it out. Probably make some frags or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but if not, I'll just, I'm going to clean up the rocks and uh, go from there. A lot of those daisy polyps, I don't even want them close to anything else. And uh, I'm surprised they're, they came back full force, like if, as if I didn't do anything. The other only polyps that I care about are the uh, zoas, of course. You can see those rastas, they grow. They've been doing really good. Um, the chalices down here are doing good. My Miami, Miami Hurricane is doing well, and it's growing next to the one that uh, my buddy Javier gave me, uh, which is also doing good. I have, I'm going to space them out some more so I can go ahead and uh, watch them grow. I know that there's no damage being done, hopefully. And um, I did frag some of that uh, Miami Hurricane, which is the blue one with the orange and different color eyes, the pink eyes. But when I glued them onto the uh, little disc, they ended up flying off and I don't have them anymore. So that sucks. So I'll probably do that again maybe later. Everything else is doing okay. Uh, to include uh, the Aptasia, they're still there. I'm gonna, but I haven't really been doing anything to the tank. Um, one of the slowest growers that I have are the My Clementine Zoas. They're the ones with the bright orange eyes, dark red around them, uh, really, really dark red. But um, those are super slow growers. I only got them with one head, but everything else that I had got at the same time has uh, doubled, tripled, turned into its own little mini colony. Just those my clementine zoos just seem to take me a little bit longer to grow. Um, you can see the utter chaos right here, doing good. Also, when I got them, only a couple of uh, heads. And now you can see they're well off onto a uh, colony. Now, if you have any problems with zoas and you notice your zoas are disappearing, it's those Asterina starfish. If you have those starfish on your glass, you need to get uh, a shrimp to eat it, a harlequin shrimp, so uh, your zoas will be safe. Even if you sus don't see any, but you suspect that you have uh, those little Asterina starfish, get a harlequin shrimp. It'll save your zoas. It'll save all your soft corals. It'll save your SPS and uh, go from there. My harlequin shrimp uh, ended up dying, uh, which was the truth. I have some chocolate chips starfish still in my sump because I tried to feed my harlequin back in the couple of months ago but it was just too weak because the uh, LFS's didn't have any chocolate chips well the ones that I went to the chocolate chip starfish so uh, by the time I did get it it was too weak to to eat them so there you go my uh, firefish is doing well um, I have two of them in the tank 
they're doing really good. You can see that the hair algae is under control. Um, I still need to clean out my pumps. I'm just going to go ahead and do that in place. Probably later on today, I'll do that. And I'll show you how I do that. I need to get do some fragging, like I said, and uh, chop up these green pallies. Uh, everything else, as far as my sticks go, are doing really good. Um, no problems, and uh, they still have their color. You can see this one's very happy. Polyps extended. Um, and I need to clean up up here. On top of that, I had these uh, big ass green bird's nest or different kind of bird's nest that I got from a 67 Mustang who was uh, changed his name on Instagram. And by the way, if you're on Instagram, you can follow me. It's just search 915 Bang. But uh, I had got that uh, bird's nest from him and it's doing really well. Um, but I had to move it down on the tank because uh, it was just it's just too big. And I'm going to show you a close up of that. But as far as corals go, I'm just enjoying the growth. You know, a lot of these corals started off with little tiny frags. I don't buy colonies. I don't have the money to buy colonies. I just buy little frags because I can get a variety of different co uh, corals, different things of what I want. And uh, they grow for me and doing pretty good, as you can see. Green Slimer is doing good. Um, that other coral in the background doing good I don't know the name of it to be honest with you but I have another frag of it um, it's had its better days as far as color is concerned and that is the big ass bird's nest that I got I put on that shelf rock and I even fragged it for my other buddy uh, Javier traded some uh, beer for some coral man you, you know got the hook up like that um, so not going to complain right there so let's take a closer look at some of the zoas that I have here. As you know, I'm a zoa guy. I love having a mixed reef. I think uh, just if I had nothing but zoas, that'd be cool. But I like to join the mixed reef, different variety of different corals and things like that, which is why I went with the big tank so I could just shove as much corals as I can in the 180. Um, starting next year, I plan on hitting up the LFSs, ordering online getting different corals right now you know as the holidays come and Christmas and all that good stuff um, just gotta chill out a little bit um, if I was single or anything like that then yeah maybe I'd go a little nuts but uh, as as of now I'm not gonna get any new coral until next year now I do have an Excel reactor which I got from Marine Depot it's a big monster reactor and I haven't done a video on that yet because I need to buy some of those blue, red aquaponics LED strip lights because I'm going to make it a Chato reactor. And it's going to be a monster Chato reactor. And I also got an Aquatic Life RODI 100 gallon per day uh, RODI system, which I'll be hooking up to. Um, I just need to do the video for that on the RODI system. But so be looking out for that video. But I wanted to show you this digi right here that I got. And uh, it's pretty sweet. It's doing really well. And I can't wait for it to grow out. It's called the Bubblegum Digi. Uh, kind of expensive, but I picked it up on uh, My Reef to Yours. As it grows out, it'll start doing these different crazy uh, patterns from the, the growth. Um, also, this... Uh, mushroom right here front and center it's a beast i need to move it because it is stinging the crap out of my uh hammer that i got right here and i don't want it to mess up my lobo so if you have any mushrooms you need to pay attention to it because it will do damage also right here on the top as you guys remember the last video i did i fragged that xenia i fragged it all the way down to the stem to where it was barely showing and uh, as you can see, it's growing. Came back. I haven't seen it spread anywhere else in the tank, but uh, it did come back full force, like as if nothing. Now I'm going to show you the uh, original piece of the bubblegum digi that I had. I uh, ended up breaking it on accident because uh, I think a fish, a tang actually bumped into it and broke it. But you can see the base part is growing. And uh, they're about the same size now. And that's that blue bubblegum digi, which is pretty cool. Because it looks like a regular red digi, but has speckles of blue and a little bit of green. So 
that's probably I can't wait for that thing to grow out and uh, make these different patterns as this regular digi right there does well, so the next time you see this tank I will be having uh, it cleaned up fragged up and uh, because a lot of these pallies need to go hope you guys have a good one you guys take care make sure you like and subscribe and uh, go ahead and follow me on the Instagram 915mag and there you go we'll follow you back have a good one guys take care